would go check it out, IndieWrestling.us, and also shouts to our friends at WrestlePit. Um, we did those sh that show this weekend on Fight and Title Match Network. Please go check out, uh, buy the pay-per-view, buy the replay on both of those networks to support our friends at WrestlePit. It was a lot of fun, and we'll be talking about that here in a moment. But we are here with Zeke Mercer. He's the real shoot wrestling champion. I know. There it is. Hello, guys. How long have you I, been champ again? Oh, actually, it's been like a couple, well, it's like 100 days so far. 100 days. So far, it's over 100 days. There you go. Just just carrying that around. Carry that around. You know. Always with me. You know, to the Starbucks, to the Subway. I could, to the but I'm not that much of a dickhead. You know, I, you know so one time we, uh, we met up with Andrew Palace. At a, at a Dunkin' Donuts, and and I forget which belt he had at the time, probably the Super Indie belt. And he walks in, and and we're, we looked at him. I'm like, "Are you wearing the belt right now?" And then under his clothes, he goes, "Ding ding!" It just <laughs> <laughs> you gotta keep it on you. <laughs> that's right. That's right. He was like, he was like, hey, you know, I think yeah. I think it was my of his first belt or something like that. I so, and again, somebody you teamed up with uh, recently, um, the VCW. Let's talk about that first of all, because uh, and, and, you know, again, we had the week off, so we we didn't get a chance to fresh out of the gate. First show. Back in, in the greater Wheeling area in West Virginia, mm. it's been, uh, geez, since before COVID, before I've been in before, that area. Before the snap. Before the snap. <laughs> yeah. Before, before, Jesus. before the post, before from the now snap. On. Yeah, it was the pre-Thanos. Uh, we, we haven't been there since pre-Thanos. Um, but uh, we actually might have not been there since pre-Thanos. Or we could actually call it what uh, the Marvel canon calls it, the Blitz. The Blip. The Blip. The Blip. Oh, the blip. blip. I heard the Blitz, too. <laughs> well, no, because technically we're still in the Blip. Yeah, we're, yeah, we're, uh, we're still to come To a degree, back. we're coming back. Uh, uh, There's is at what point of the yeah, blip we're in, unfortunately. Wong is just slowly so, bringing everyone back with the yeah. sling ring. It's, it's, a, <laughs> it's a slow bit, but it's yeah. more like a malaise. You know? Yeah, I and don't Wong's know. saying, you wanted more? Like, yeah, motherfucker, we want more. So I've been at this for five hours. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> But anyways, but but this was a big, and I know talking with Beastman, you know, was, you know, he's been on the show talking about he wanted to bring uh, quality pro wrestling back, and that's, I mean, that's a big thing. Like I was sitting here watching, you know, looking for wrestling in the Pittsburgh area because I happen to have a weekend off, right? That's rare. And I know, right? <laughs> and I was like, why is there no wrestling? And I looked, it was like, well, there's some wrestling of ill repute this weekend maybe uh but you know it, it, but 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 that and that's a big distinction because there are so many companies and not all of them are necessarily worth your time and money mm -hmm. and 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 it was cool to see that he was bringing something of quality and and there were a lot of somebody had a message about i really love how everything about this promotion walking into it like came together between the graphics between the setup and everything like it really did you know seem like you know there's like a couple you know little things for running a first show right. getting things together the first show um, will always have hiccups of some kind yeah. some way somehow so for you i mean you've seen a lot of promotions you know how, how did that kind of feel on the backstage size being being part of something like victory championship wrestling you want to know my my experience is stressful. <laughs> I well, it. yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, you were helping my it. ass out, and my my plane was late, yeah. and I was starting to get sick um, on top of things. So, I, and thank you for helping with the green screen, by the course. way. Of uh, course, I've helped. I got everyone's information done except mine. <laughs> and that's what, when I realized. You know how when I realized I realized when I got back, I sat down, and I looked over. I was like, "Damn it, the camera's gone." <laughs> mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But that's okay. We got we got that's you. Okay. We got you on but I got camera. everyone else. Like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. <laughs> like everyone. I even got like I even I even uh, spoke caveman and got beast man. Yes, <laughs> yes, you did. So, yes, like, you did. I appreciate that. I figured that. it out. <laughs> so, um, but no, yeah. I mean, we got you know VCW uh, uh, happened, and 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 so like, how did that feel? Kind of, kind of do it. Like, you you ended up in the main event of this thing. I oh, know it's crazy. Um. Well, I got I got I got to protect my man Beastman. He doesn't need my protection, but you know, mm -hmm. getting getting jumped by three when these three goons. Mm -hmm. I mean, we all love Beastman, but come on, there's, there's there's just a limit for something. You need you need friends, so I'm glad we get, was able to help him. And I know Patrick Hayes now is back, looking scowly as ever. Look at him. Look at him. Why do I keep landing on Patrick Hayes clips in this thing, too? Look, look, look. Like, the, what ca the camera loves him. <laughs> Love it. <laughs> Good slaps there. Yes, absolutely. Love it. It was it was great. It was great to be back in Wheeling, actually, the Wheeling area. Because, like, I, I don't think I have wrestled there since the blimp. 
Yeah. You can, you think, it sounds like you're saying the blimp. <laughs> it's blimp or whatever since the snap. I haven't mm-hmm. wrestled there since. It's the first time I've been back there. Mm-hmm. So, like, yeah, it's crazy. And we got, uh, I, I believe the final number of attendees was 230 in a small West, West Virginia gym. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was it was basically uh, the stands for the most part were full. Um, they were they were calling it a sellout for the most part. Um, I, you know the seats the seats on the on the floor seemed like they were all full. Uh, so I mean you can see that any, you know and it's a full it's it's a full house on the other side here on the stands too. And it was a it was a decent size and it was a, it was, uh, it, 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 it was a nice gym on top of things. Oh my god! And I love, love I it. love that everything in the gym is like the 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 colors of the promotion match the gym so you felt like you you just walked into the entire branding of the structure of this promotion so marketing yes, <laughs> absolutely. but no it was it was great it was fun uh even my dad caught saw me wrestle he was on a he was there watching me wrestle that's the first time i think he saw me wrestle in nice. the man of show well no second second because he saw me win this yes, <laughs> yes. <laughs> he saw me win this so second time seeing a man event also the second time he seen me wrestle in west virginia so it's crazy to think about. Um, that's awesome. And, and one thing I loved about it, like I, I didn't know about half of the roster. A lot of brand new faces to me. Right. Um, um, Alex, uh, Alex Matthews. I can't remember off the top of my head who who he faced. Um, but I, I believe Ethan it was Wright. Ethan Wright. Yeah. Uh, was a fantastic, like Dude, that definitely match, was match so of good. the night, easily yeah. match of the night for sure. It was so good. Um, you know, again, two guys that I don't think. I've experienced uh, before, so so that that was a pretty cool. I also really loved uh, Zach Myers versus uh, Ryder Reed. Mm-hmm. That was mm-hmm. a pretty good match. Which I, Ryder Reed saying that that was his, that was his, uh, his, last, his match. last match too, like yeah. afterwards. So and that was kind of sad because I was like, I I want to watch, I want to I want to I want to I want to wrestle them both. And, 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 and I, I, <laughs> right, and, and, and I, I didn't like, I didn't know what to make of Alex Matthews because I get these two promos and it looks like he's sitting in a barn on a tractor and I'm like, what is this guy? This guy <laughs> it. So it. What, and, and what's that? We, like, he's it. Like he just he's money. Both these guys are money. That's the crazy mm-hmm. thing about this match. Like mm-hmm. both these guys are great. So I, I think that's the whole point of BCW is trying to get some new faces in the area because you're not that far from Pittsburgh, so you're yeah. always going to yeah. have that Pittsburgh flavor within it. And, and there's, you know, within like two to three hours, there's some really fantastic uh, Ohio-based promotions that I have, again, not on my radar, right. you know, so to bring something like that in, it really looks like the people kind of reciprocate. I know we saw some faces from the Pittsburgh area mm-hmm. in the crowd, so they made the drive down. It's a good... Some people from Pittsburgh's past show up. At I- oh, yeah? Patrick Hayes, I mean... Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. You know, that's, that's been a while. He's been a while for... He's been away for a while, and then he came up and... Look. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. So... So he's slapping you around and he's slapping him back, yeah. right? So always and forever. <laughs> so, um, so that's on the network right now. If you want to check that out, this past weekend I want to talk a little bit about Wrestle Pit. I know you were on the pre-show match, but you were around a lot of it. I mean, this was a show that featured Matt Taven. It featured uh, Josh Woods in a fantastic pure roles match uh, with Victor Benjamin. Um, Lady Frost, of course, a part of this, and this is something that that uh, Frost and Benjamin are putting together their second show here. Um, and, and as with the first one, live on both fight and uh, title match. Um, geez, uh, uh, Marty the Moth was on the show. Um, uh, uh, world famous CB. I think I screwed up his title. I don't know why I thought he was fabulous CB for a moment there. I had I was doing the titles quick for some reason. <laughs> uh, unfortunately, I was running out of time before the show. Uh, but uh, you know, you know, like it, 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 it's an incredible show. And I, I know for you, you got experience because you got you got to run in a lot of people you don't usually see in a locker room. No, what? I saw Matt Taven. <laughs> <laughs> like I was like that's. That's pretty crazy because I remember like when I was training, right? And I used yeah, to yeah. I had the Fight TV app, and they throw on Ring of Honor episodes up there for free. Yeah, you got watching yeah. the commercials, and like when I was watching, that was like the start of his reign, the the kingdom his, kind it, of uh, yeah, like reign? His, his, yeah. His, his world title reign. And I'm going like, ah, I might tell you, and like all that. Like that's pretty cool to see that like someone I watched when I was training. It's not like the same locker room as me. He shook my hand, and said hi, we cracked a few jokes. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. So like, I was like, that that's. And also, Marty was there. That's pretty cool too. I was like, "Holy hell, dude! Like, my mm-hmm. life has changed in like three or four years. Mm-hmm. Seeing like people I watched on television now, I'm sharing a locker room with, and people like, oh, you used to be the mark.' I was like, "No, I'm just acknowledging that's pretty freaking cool to have been to accomplish that within like three, four years to be on those kinds of shows, yeah. right?" Um, I mean, that, that's kind of the cool thing about wrestling is is if you're making the right turns and you're starting to just 
happen to be in these these things like you do right. you know like, oh what you I know believe. start start <laughs> to rub elbows with the people that are, are completely the ones that inspired you to be there in the first place right all right it's pretty cool i also saw my friend jason hotch mm-hmm. wrestled him so like, that's pretty cool too <laughs> so like i was like yeah this is it, it, i had a great time and then we had a rap battle I don't we had a rap battle <laughs> I'm still, I'm still wrapping my head around that. I one, had actually. one friend who did not know what was going on. I, I wait, and, it, and it, I it, it was, I wasn't ready for that. I'm like, is it going to be a rap battle and then a match, or like, how are we rolling with this? And I then they did just not like, see. I mean, they, they just and, and they were just like, no, this is a straight rap battle. And so, someone, I remember my friend was asking, like, why, why isn't there music playing? It's like, because, <laughs> because only on like TV they had music playing when they actually did like rap battles, like. You mm-hmm. know, like you found world star hip hop. There were no well, music. Because any, anything any of us know about it, uh, 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 rap battles is eight miles. Let's, yeah, uh, so let's like, be quite honest about this. Right, it's eight so. miles. But like truly, there's just be people who get in the crowd. You know, they just start mm-hmm. spinning out rhymes, and I can't rap. Don't ask me to rap. I can't. I don't have no music. <laughs> I, I I just have wrestling talent. That's it. Don't ask me to spit rhymes. I, I think there's a like spot that. where we lose the table. There it yeah. is. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, I lost that. There goes the VIP tables. Oh, (laughs) if you're on the video with us, my man Jason uh, was hurting. (laughs) Taven, this is Taven uh, Hotch, and uh, who's the third guy? It was the first time I saw him. Bo, I think it was. Yeah. Um. So, uh, uh, it was it was a pretty fun match. I can't. I was. The, 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 this, this scared me. I was like, oh, cause, uh, this poor lady <laughs> probably never went to a wrestling show before. It's probably her second or third time. And like, you'll she be got safe. People. You're at a table. Yeah, you're you're far from the action. And right? just like two or three people just jump on like near her. It was her, wild because the first show did have guardrails and everything. And, right. and the VIPs were lined up on the one side. And then uh, the part of saying the lady in the, in the black dress almost had an issue. She was like, I bet she was like, I did not expect this. To happen. <laughs> like, I look, I came here looking nice. I thought I was told to be a VIP, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and she got people jumping like two inches from her face. She's yes, like, I was like, welcome to wrestling. Yeah, welcome absolutely, to wrestling. <laughs> absolutely. <laughs> um, but uh, uh. no, but it was a fun show. Both VCW and Pit Fight was, you know, Wrestle Pit is all gonna be great. I mean, there's so many shows uh, mm. around here. It's gonna be like. It's all blended together, and, and, <laughs> and that's the thing. There's a lot of new faces, new promotions uh, between between these, you know, other other things like Enjoy popping up as well in the city. Yeah. And again, in city, I'm loving this in city concept that's happening. And there's more that sound like they're either coming back or or, or making inroads. So it, that's what I love to see. Uh, you know, I tweeted the other day that you know. Uh, um, um, <laughs> Somebody messaged me, NXT always ends at the same time. And I was like, no, it doesn't. Sometimes it rolls over. Mm-hmm. Don't lie to me. Uh, so, uh, but anyways. Sometimes. Uh, yeah, sometimes, right? But, but no, like, like, and I think this is something that's been missing for the longest time because I'm seeing what's happening in other towns. Mm-hmm. And this is Pittsburgh wrestling, literally in Pittsburgh. Mm-hmm. And you can say the other one was, but it was in Millville, let's be honest. But this was in the West End, in Pittsburgh. Uh, 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 live streaming, and I cannot tell you the last time. I don't think any show. I don't think there has ever been a wrestling show in Pittsburgh on fight that wasn't like maybe Ring of Honor, right? Right, and that, that I don't even think has happened. And, I and, think and about people, it. Well, stage AE, right? Yeah, the maybe yeah. stage, but they were on like Honor Club. And, I guess that was technically fight too. Okay, but like a fight, you know, as a pay per view. But I mean, yeah, I'll count that. But okay. as far as indie wrestling, but that's not Pittsburgh wrestling. That's Ring of Honor. Yeah, you know, you know, we have our flavor in there too. It's, but it's like other than I'm going to count WWE pay per views. You know, <laughs> so. you gotta understand like Pittsburgh wrestling's DNA is like all over like the indie. That's game. the that's thing. That's the crazy part. Like that's the thing. Who, like, and I, but I think I, I you know and this has always been my thing is. But people don't look at Pittsburgh, right? Right, like everything's coming from Pittsburgh. But a lot of exports, no one looking. A lot of people that stopped doing things in Pittsburgh and found their found their gold somewhere else. That's the thing. People, I have friends to say, like you know, either wrestling's dying or the Pittsburgh scene is dying. I was like, I don't know where you're looking at, no, no, no. You're you're not looking at Wrestle Pit. You're not looking at what Wrestle Rex was doing. You're not looking at what Enjoy was doing. You're not not looking at Rise. You're not looking what Rise was doing in Baldwin. You know, like this, like this is it. You know, and even the people on the outskirts are doing amazing stuff. RWA consistently. I. I cannot tell you a promotion that's been as consistent as RWA has been in the last five years. Like, still. Right? (laughs) 
Like they are down the road, you know, from how many other? It doesn't. It doesn't matter if Impact Wrestling's ten minutes away or AEW people are, are at a promotion ten minutes away. Those people show up, yeah. you know, and and no. Nobody in Pittsburgh has the brand loyalty of RWA. And when you have period. A, when you have a product that, you know, that's literally preferable than mm-hmm. like going to maybe a, a WWE show or mm-hmm. an AEW show. I've I've heard that. I was like, I don't like, go to the arena for WWE shows, I come here. They come here. They're yeah. they're probably watching I'll catch WB or AEW or Impact on TV. Yeah. I yeah. cannot just turn on my television. But I will RWA. not miss sitting ringside yeah. at this show. No. This is this is where it's at. And that should be the focus. You got to make your promotion or your ear or mm-hmm. your content preferable. Like if, when you turn on YouTube, what's the first thing you want to watch? It, your, whatever content you have should pop in their head, mm-hmm. you know? Mm-hmm. And that's what I think RW, RWA has tapped into. Absolutely. And I feel like Russell Pitt's getting there. I, I can't tell you how many people were between the first and second show mm-hmm. necessarily. I don't know if they're kind of like a spot. Like I'm coming because Buddy Matthews is on, oh, or yeah, I'm coming because yeah, yeah. Matt Taven's on this. Like I don't know, I I don't know uh, uh, where that's at. But they're definitely bringing a different thing there too. So right. um, that's it, kind of it should be to go for all like all wrestling promotions. Mm-hmm. Just make your content preferable mm-hmm. in any way that fits whatever demographic you're trying to sell to. Absolutely. You know, like VCW is just you know good quality wrestling in West Virginia in a small town West Virginia. That's like rare without much competition. Yeah, well, exactly. So like, like if you can bring. The, the first show brought two thirty. If you can keep that two thirty, even build on it, that's insane. My God, there's promotions that are running. I, I like they've run for like four or five years, not pulling two thirty. So like <laughs> you, know? you know, but you know what I mean. I'm just like, you have to make it like something like I want to come back here. Mm-hmm. I want to watch it. Mm-hmm. If I ha- if I have to miss it, I'm going to watch it. Yeah. Right. Yeah. 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 Or Absolutely. like I'm going to get my pictures here. Like I know people are going to like. Oh, I know this wrestler's coming here. I don't see him often. I want to go see him. Mm-hmm. You know, like, oh, tickets are affordable here. I can have, I know I won't get two or three hours of great fun. I'm going to go here. Absolutely. And you just got to make it preferable. I make it, like, appetizing, basically. That's kind of the whole goal with it. So, Zeke, we're, we're, uh, we're way into, we're, we're, we're way into the first quarter of 2022. Ooh. I know you, you kind of slowed down and uh, hibernate a little bit on the winter. We've talked about this before. Oh, yeah. You know, I mean, traveling's hard. Uh, <laughs> traveling's car with it. Traveling's hard with a shitty car, guys. That's yeah, right. That's right. <laughs> While well, I'm wrestling, man. Uh, but like, so what? What's on? What's on your your kind of like? What are you doing for 2020, 2022? Where uh, Where are you trying to get? You trying to get out of town? You trying to get more places? You know, or is it all about that belt right there? It's It's about the belt. <laughs> I'll tell. You, I have some. Well, RSW is coming back in April, so that's like mm-hmm. soon. And so they've been on a hiatus. They've been on a hiatus. You know. Yes. Even in, in winter, West Virginia snow is still not fun. You that's know, right, it's like, right. it's not, it's still a of, cold. A lot of mountains. You, a lot Appalachia. of mountains. You, you, you just like, okay, we all, need, <laughs> we all need a break. We all should, <laughs> that's we right. should all just like be home for holidays, not have to worry about anything. That's right. But now we come back in the spring. We got Happy a, Valentine's Day. <laughs> Happy Valentine's Day. Um, we have some matches lined up in the summer, into the fall, even into December. So like, we're coming back. We're coming back strong. We're coming with more entertaining shows for the Fairmont, mm-hmm. Morgantown area. So, um, I mean, next year, I mean, it's just literally just, I think at this point, it's having fun. Mm-hmm. Having fun, having great matches, defending this belt, keeping it as long as I can, proving something. And maybe just, maybe pop up in a new state, maybe pop up in a new, uh, you know, promotion here or there. But, like, nothing's off the table, nothing's off the table. Are you, are, are you looking for any kind of areas uh, uh, you're trying to get out to mm. in particular? Indianapolis, not Indianapolis, <coughs> but Indiana, and then like I want to go back to Illinois. Like yeah. I, I, I really want to go back to Illinois. I, I, I just I don't like the Chicago <laughs> weather, but I was like, but there's that, something, man, that but something up there. is great in dude, this town. Dude, something is great. The <laughs> vibe in Chicago is is next level. Right. I, you know, between you know shows, I, I you know uh, 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 some of our crew are working and what we're doing up there. Like there's like this, it's a whole other vibe up there. It, it's incredible. I, I, I haven't been anywhere else that has that wrestling vibe. I still think that Chicago. Ohio, I still does. think the whole state of Ohio has some wrestling that's like not really tapped into yet. Yes, and well, I'm just like well, that's Ohio kind of has the Pittsburgh problem, does right. it? I mean, you got AIW doing fantastic things, right. and they're at, then they have a and they've built an amazing platform. I was thinking about that the other day because I was watching some clips of some. Uh, uh, I was actually watching the the main events blog. Mm-hmm. video blog which if you haven't they got three episodes up i think i think i think i may make a cameo cameo in one of them uh so um but uh 
but uh, <coughs> but yeah, like they 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 have a great platform for Ohio wrestling um, that I don't think anybody else is doing too much with right now. Um, right. But there's like great content. Like uh, what was that OWA that I saw main events popping up in, mm -hmm. uh, doing some great things Our over there. Ice Man Tony's going to be there. You know, like oh yeah, yeah, main events there. Jocelyn Navarro's there. Like nice, nice, like nice. it's familiar Pittsburgh faces that yeah. are like having these crazy great matches in Ohio, and everyone's yeah. like. Well, what's in Ohio? I was like, an untapped treasure trove of wrestling. I promise you, like, yeah. it's crazy how much good wrestling's there. Mm -hmm. It's crazy how much wrestling, how good wrestling's like everywhere. And, and, well, and I got to experience a little between Cle Cleveland stuff we did with between Prime Premier or things like that. Right. And then uh, we worked with the uh, Dustin Batdoor for more, which um, <coughs> excuse me, <coughs> I forget which for, which uh, promotion they work with, but Juice Jennings, guys like that, mm -hmm. right? Um, like, there's always been like a really strong bit. Uh, coming out of that, that mid Ohio kind right. of kind of thing, so. and same thing in Pittsburgh. Like it, mm -hmm. we have a lot of people who are well known are from like Ohio, Pittsburgh, you know, Philadelphia, but not a lot of people are looking over here. No, no. So no. like I think like once people find out like these like crazy secret areas, like oh I didn't know Ohio was bumping like this. I'm like yeah, so is Detroit, and so like me parts of <laughs> Michigan. Like it is crazy how much wrestling. And, 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 and I've been to regions where it's hard to find good wrestling. Right. And, I think and, we, I think we all kind of, especially anyone who's been here for the past like six years, who've been wrestling for the past six years, mm -hmm. like the landscape has completely changed. Mm -hmm. Even if everyone's like, you don't know what you're talking about. Like, well, it's changed just as much in three years, or just as crazy in three years over the past six years. So I mean, like, it's only gonna get crazier and crazier, and only, and it'll be more wrestling, better wrestling, crazier wrestling. You know, just I was waiting for it. I'm just kind of like, you know. I want to see where I am. I want to defend this belt. I want to make some moves. But, mm -hmm. like, nothing's, like I said, it's nothing's off the table. Nothing's, like, completely on the table. Who, who are the big threats over there at RSW? Uh, I got to stay <coughs> Remy. Remy's a big threat. Okay. Not, not yeah, in, like, yeah, the yeah. sense of, like, oh, we have this crazy, like, I don't like him. He's like me. It's, you know, it's just, like, I see him as, like, people sleep. I think people sleep on Remy. I yeah. think that's the problem. Oh, yeah. Like, no oh, one, yeah. I don't, I, you have to sit there and watch this man do his work is crazy um i still think palace is still much of a threat um even when i won this belt it was a mixture of larusso kincaid palace and me and somehow i came out like yeah okay <laughs> like <laughs> all right all right you know but like palace still there larusso still there kincaid can pop up anywhere mm -hmm. i mean i had to face i don't know how many times i had faced kincaid and lost before i finally got a win over him mm -hmm. so like i just and not to mention, I, I, I had survived O'Shea. He's a luminary. Oh, jeez. I, yes. I, I can't say I beat him. I survived him. So, like, he's always a threat. And anyone mm -hmm. who may be walking through those doors at any moment, you know, it's just, I think RSW is like a mixed bag of jokers and kings and queens. It's just, you don't know what's going to happen. We don't know what's going to be put down on the table in front of you. So, like, I just got to stay ready at this point. I got to watch everybody. I can't just, like, oh, I don't know about him that flew on my way there. No, I got I gotta know about this person who walks through the door. I don't care if you're the first match or the third match or whatever. I have to I have to know who the heck you are. Cause you may be coming after me or the belt I'm carrying or whatever spot I wanna take. And so like you just I have to watch everybody. So everybody follow Zeke Mercer. I think uh, he's gonna have a really interesting story here in twenty twenty two that you're gonna wanna keep an eye on and of course the door's always open for you, drop it in here uh as as we're uh, going through the year or two. Uh, so uh, where are you at online for, again for people need to check you out? Um, Twitter is the Zeke underscore Mercer. For Instagram is D underscore Zeke underscore Mercer. And on Facebook, it's just Zeke Mercer. It's not Zeke the Mercer. It's not D Zeke, D Zeke Mercer. It's just Zeke Mercer. Nope. Uh, I had a lot of complaints about the. the <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah, sometimes people got to get their social media straight, right? Yeah. Uh, so.